On top of a small plateau is the last site I present in this long review of Sardinian archaeological sites. The pre-neuragic complex of Monte Baranta presents completely new features not yet seen in Sardinia. Upon reaching the plateau, we immediately find stones of megalithic dimensions. A little further on, there is a wall almost 100 meters long, composed on the outer side of relatively well-matched polygonal boulders. It is really different from the usual style we encounter here in Sardinia, in that it is clearly a polygonal wall, I would say of the second type. The boulders are roughly carved to match one another, then the spaces that remain have been filled with smaller stones. The wall has a narrow passage that leads to an area enclosed by the wall and a cliff, and in which some small structures still stand. The inner side of the wall is composed of much smaller stones. On this wall, too, we find megalithic boulders. The wall is still between 2 and 3 meters high and around 3 meters wide, filled with small pebbles. In front of the wall is a pavement that seems to be composed of huge slabs of rock and a large number of megalithic boulders that include lying men here several meters long. Boulders are clearly carved with large flat surfaces and right angles and are arranged in the shape of an egg. A few dozen meters from the wall is another very special monument. Composed of gigantic boulders, it is a U-shaped wall that overlooks the cliff and has two corridor entrances that run through the entire wall, up to 6.5 meters thick. Here is the second door. Also here we have a giant lintel. The corridor is always 4 or 5 meters long. This site is also officially believed to date back to pre-neuragic cultures, erected between 2500 and 2200 BC. Again, one cannot help but notice that the older a site is believed to be, the larger the boulders that were used. As already mentioned, these last four sites cannot be categorized into any of the previously presented groups. Personally, I have not seen any other site with incisions and hollows similar to those of the rock altar of Santo Stefano. I have seen very few rectangular monuments. The Ziggurat is unique in the Mediterranean, as is the Monte Baranta complex in the Sardinian archaeological landscape. The only thing these four sites have in common with each other and with some of the sites previously presented, is their dating. According to official archaeology, they all date back to the pre-neuragic period, to a time span of over 2000 years, from around 4000 BC to 2000 BC. 